what's up everybody so i am in gattuso's music in downtown canton ohio and i have an opportunity to play through two wonderful saxophones from selmer this one is the super action 80 series 2 i think selmer's done away with the super action 80 moniker and they're just going with series 2 and series 3 but when i was in college i struggled a lot with this instrument playing altissimo so in my mind I always thought it was the instrument, but we're going to find out if that's true or if it was just me being a college kid making excuses. All right, so let's play this thing and let's see what we got. These instruments are both on sale here at Gattuso's Music, so I will post the link for those in the description below. story short yeah it was just me in college okay I noticed that this instrument feels a little more free-blowing in the lower register than the series 3 that I tried uh, about a month ago okay um, I like this instrument Try the Mark 7. It's like a family tree. Part of you and part of me. And if we should separate, go your own way. I won't wait. Okay, so now we got the Mark 7, and I'm going to tell you right now, in my experience, I've played probably about five or six Mark 7s, and all of them were really good, and I think the reason why is because people who have them know that they aren't Mark 6s, so they just took really good care of them, and this is an excellent example, so let me play this one for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. <laughs> I feel like this instrument is a little more free blowing and it's like got a bigger sound, a more open spread sound, where the Series 2 is more focused. This also has a high F sharp key. <laughs> Very easy to play altissimo on both of these instruments. I am always blown away when I play Mark 7s, and I think that overall people just generally take really good care of them. In my opinion, this is an excellent example. Uh, both of these instruments, they're really, really good. Okay, Somer has kept the Series 2 and the Series 3 going. At least with the tenors, they've discontinued the Series 3 now with the alto because they've come out with the Supreme, but it's a very successful saxophone. They're still keeping the Series 2 going, and I really, truly appreciate why. Always like the altos, but now I have a newfound respect for the brilliance of the series too, even from some of the early eras. This is a early 90s saxophone, excellent example. And I have a newfound respect for Mark Sevens. I was able to hear some things in the sound. Now that I'm older and I play differently to really get the sound of these instruments to really speak and work well with what it is that I'm trying to do. So I hope that some of you can find a happy home for these instruments. Link will be in the description below. If you like this kind of content and you want to help the channel grow, you can buy me a piece of cake. It's like a Kickstarter, Patreon kind of thing. Also, I have Cash App if you just want to make a donation. That's fine with me. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you. Thanks for tuning in. See ya!